everybody I am back with another review this time it is for my echo spot um, I just recently purchased this a couple of weeks ago I had a dot I've had a dot for about a year and I wanted to upgrade to the spot so that I could have a visual screen because uh, I wanted to get a ring doorbell which I did get and I have a separate review for that but I wanted to get the ring doorbell I didn't want to always have to be on my phone to see who was there so I have the spot so I can check in on who's who's hanging around my house so I thought I would do a quick quick review of the spot it's gonna be very basic information if you want an elaborate review you're probably gonna have to go somewhere else this is just gonna be a here's how you get started and here's a couple neat things kind of review and you may notice we are joined from some past reviews. I have No Me and Captain Caveman hanging out. They are always on the shelf. And now they are hanging out with my spot. So first things first, I'm going to show you the design. Obviously I'm a fan of mid-century modern, as you can see from my, my casserole dish lid in the back. Uh, my whole entertainment is mid-century modern, a lot of my houses. And the spot fits in nicely if you're into that sort of thing. If you're contemporary mid-century modern, it's a good addition. It comes in white or black. I went with the white because if I spend money on things, I want them to stand out. So here is the white Echo Dot. Literally, almost literally, plug and play. So you plug it into an outlet. It is Wi-Fi enabled. So when you get it, there are step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. It will ask you for your Wi-Fi password. You put it in right on the screen because it is a touch screen. And it will connect to Wi-Fi, hopefully very easily. I didn't have any issues. Um, and you'll, you're basically ready to go. I did have to do an update on it once I got it connected to Wi-Fi. It took a few minutes, but after that, we were all set. Hardest thing about this was getting the cords through the TV stand and plugged in and finding the old cords and getting them unplugged. So I will show you a couple of things here. At the very top, hopefully you can see this. This is the microphone button, which I currently have off, so I can say Alexa and she won't turn on. And there is a plus sign and a minus sign. Those are for your speaker. Uh, one thing to know, if you do have another Echo device, for instance, I still have my dot. It's in my daughter's room. I can drop in on the dot. So um, if my daughter's trying to ignore me, I can ask Alexa to drop in on her dot and, you know, yell at her via my spot. Just an added little parent benefit. So here we go. I want to show you some basics and then um, that's it. If you have any other questions, we'll get to that at the end. So one thing you need to know is, like I said, this is touchscreen enabled. So when you want to change something, you just swipe down and you're going to see all these different options. What are they? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, some of them are obviously pretty basic. There's the this night thing right here. And I believe what this does is um, I have noticed at like 10 o'clock at night my screen goes black and the time turns to red letters and that is so if you have this on your nightstand um, you don't have the blue light glaring at you while you're trying to sleep and I'm assuming that's what that is It also right around 7 o'clock in the morning it slowly fades to the current brightness you can see that there is a brightness level adjustment here uh, alarm, things like that, but you can just ask Alexa to set an alarm. What I wanted to dive into, literally the only thing I want to show you, it's how to change the clock because I didn't know how to do that and that was a big deal for me as someone who was a designer and who wanted a cool mid-century look. So you're going to swipe down, you're going to go to this little gear. When you go to this gear, uh, the first thing it's going to show you is your, your, um, your Wi-Fi that it's connected to. That's why I've scrolled up. I don't want you to see that. I don't know why, uh, but I just don't want you to. Um, so here are the different things that you can change, things you need to know about that are available on here. Things to try is pretty neat. It'll tell you different things, skills, sort of things that um, Alexa can do. There's device options, the do not disturb option. <laughs> the other Alexa just heard me. Uh, sounds, display, but here's the one I wanted to tell you about, which is the clock. Um, there's all different things. There's home content, night mode, that's the one that I was telling you about, 24 hour clock, you can change that. I'm going to show them the clocks. There's all different kinds of clock faces. If you see one through four, that means there's options you can swipe through. The record one's pretty cool. So I like this record one, but I want a record in a different color. So you can go ahead and change the color of the record to whatever you want. Let's say I want the green one, that sort of thing. Um, you can change it 
uh, on the orange one, let's say, let's say I want the orange one. Orange is my favorite color. And go here. I can even change the clock face, so I still have the orange clock, but I want a different face, that sort of thing. Super simple to do. Really, really cool. I'm going to turn the microphone back on so I can say, Alexa, go home. Now I'm back to my home screen. Uh, you may notice that I have this super cool mid-century pattern in the background that was not on my spot when it arrived. That is something that I added on and I literally I went online, I found a pattern that I liked, I took a screenshot on my phone, I went to the Alexa app, uploaded it, um, it's pretty easy to find, it's under your device, and within seconds it was on my Alexa. I think it's pretty cool, I like it, it's snazzy. Um, like I said, the one thing that I really wanted this for was my ring doorbell, and like I said before, there is another review for that, but while I'm here, might as well show you how that works. So I'm going to turn the microphone back on, and I'm going to say, Alexa, show me the front door. Okay. And this is my front door. You can make the screen smaller or larger. I will say with most videos, they're going to be this sort of um, letter. What is this called? I don't know. Why am I asking you? You're not going to answer me. Um, <laughs> this is sort of wide angle look. Um, that's about as big as you're going to see a video on the spot. And there we go. This is nice. I'm able to see a little bit better. As you can see, I can see my whole front yard. I could see if there's some shadowy figure at my door that I don't want in my house, I can yell at them through my app or through the spot. Um, so like I said, this is about as big as it's going to get. So like our couch is on the other side of the room. I'm not going to have a very easy time seeing this. So if you have, if that's a big issue for you, you're going to want to keep it closer to you. But I just wanted to see if there's someone out there or if my dogs are embarking at some random car that I don't need to worry about. So that's the ring. Alexa, go home. Another thing to know, obviously, she plays music. Um, we enjoy having her play music. We fight over who's going to listen to what. When you are streaming through the Amazon Music app, the lyrics to the songs will actually scroll up which is pretty neat. I'm not sure that it does it in Pandora. I can try it later and see, but I'm pretty sure today when I had Pandora on, it did not show lyrics. You can also ask her to show you music videos or just videos in general, and she will show them on the screen. They're gonna be pretty small, but it keeps my kids occupied um, if they wanna see something really quickly. The handiest thing that I have found that Alexa does is spell things for my children so that I'm not the only person in the house that has to spell things all the time. I can just ask her. The kids will go, hey, mommy, how do you spell? And I'll ask Alexa. And then you'll even show it on the screen. Super handy. There's a couple other things that are just really neat and handy to have. You can ask her to tell you facts, play games. One of my favorite things to do every morning, I ask her to ask me the question of the day which will ask me a, a random trivia question. And then I play Jeopardy, which is pretty cool because when you play Jeopardy on here, it will um, show up the Jeopardy logo. Let me see if I can do it. Alexa, play Jeopardy. Now I already played today, so it's she, it's not gonna do it. This Let's see. is Jeopardy. I got 11 Thanks, out of 12 Johnny, right. That's right. You've already played all the clues this week. Earlier. Alexa. You recorded your score. Stop. See you next time. So it, it's fun to play games on here. There is one that's similar to categories and heads up. Lots of fun things to do. It is a neat little thing if, um, if you, like I said, if you have a ring doorbell or another Alexa enabled doorbell, it's very handy. Um, any Alexa enabled device, say a smart plug. Uh, I've done a di lights on our diner booth review, uh, an older review, where Alexa controls the LED lights underneath our diner booth. That's pretty cool. So there's lots of um, different things you can do with it. I think it's very neat. I slowly getting used to it and I'm sure I will find more and more things every single time I use it but I think that's pretty much the basics 
If you have any questions, if there's things that you um, want to try out before you buy it and you're just not sure if it does it, leave a comment and I will try it out on my Alexa and see if I can get whatever it is you want to know answered. Give me a couple days if you do leave a comment. I do have kids and I don't always see my comment notifications right away, but I do answer them. I try to answer them every time I receive a comment. Um, and that's it. Like I said, if you're interested in seeing the ring review, I have that as well. And if you have any questions, leave those. But for now, I hope that this was helpful.